What's up, everybody? It's your boy Desmond D. Back in here with another op opinion video. And the name of this opinion video is Rihanna versus Taylor Swift controversy. Now, here's my opinion on this whole situation. I think, in my opinion, this whole situation is a straight up mess. And it's really ridiculous to me because. I already, let me tell y'all how this whole situation happened. For those of y'all who do not know, Rihanna versus Taylor Swift. Like, what? If you don't know, let me give you a little bit of a brief information, y'all, okay? Brief information number one, okay? A long time ago, it was a guy by the name of Calvin Harris. He decided to put Rihanna on the track that I love so much, which is, this is what you came for. Now, Taylor Swift gets, she gets mad because she didn't be on the track. She didn't get on the track. And Calvin Harris did not want her ass on the damn track. He wanted Rihanna, which I can understand that. I can understand that completely because I never heard her, she doesn't, never heard Taylor Swift doesn't done actually like a pop feel music. I honestly didn't. It's mostly either country or hip hop. She started with country and landed with hip hop. I think in my opinion, she should stay to country, stay to her craft, stay where she belongs, and that's fine for me. No, she decides to want to be a part of this whole damn thing with this is what you came for, which I think it does not fit her. The music wise, it does not fit her. Now, with Rihanna, it fits her perfectly. And I'm not saying it because I'm a big fan. I'm not saying it because I got this poster right here. Sorry about this thing right here. It's not because I got her poster right here on this wall because I'm, uh, I'm anti. It's not because of that. It's because I support her on that song. That song was really amazing. You can play that in a club. You, I swear, if you play that in a club or in a packed arena, everybody would be jumping and dancing. Baby, this is what you came for. That song. You, ooh, you, you, ooh, ooh, ooh. That song, look, it sounds so amazing to me. It sounds so amazing. It sounds really amazing. Great sound, great lyrics, great quality of music. My Calvin Harris, without a doubt. Taylor Swift gets mad, breaks up with him, be on with somebody else just because of that shit. Come on now. Come on now. Really, Taylor? Really? Basic information number two. The other day, it was Drake's birthday. Speaking of which, shout out to Drake. Happy belated birthday, man. Over you for life, man. So, it was his birthday. Taylor Swift goes to his birthday party. But who did not go to his birthday party? Rihanna. Why? I don't know. I do not know why this girl did not go to the party. Well, actually, I think I know why because I've been hearing it a lot. Reason why is because of this. It's because of this. It's either two things. It's either one, they have, like, it's either why. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know why she didn't go to, this, to, to, to Drake's birthday party. It's already bad enough they be having, like, on and off again relationships. And I found that they like, didn't find out that they, they was together. Then I found out that they broken up. Like, it's, like, really crazy. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why that they broke up, and I was pissed off. So I'm like, damn, man, come on. I understand that shit. You know? Then there was two reasons why did they break up. One of them I did believe. One of them I did not believe. Reason number one. Reason number one is this. They have crazy schedules. Drake is already on the summer 16 tour doing his thing all over the all over the um the states 
Then after that, he got to do a worldwide tour. A worldwide tour. Like, come on, man. You're traveling all outside the United States. All around it. And you break up with one of the most beautiful women on earth. Y'all two broken up because of that? If that's the reason why. Reason number two is this. And I've been hearing this. I heard it one time. I don't believe it. Drake has supposedly cheated on Rihanna with some chick on Instagram. I don't know what her name is. I forgot her name is, but I think in my opinion, that's the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard in my life. Because I don't believe that shit. You want to know why I don't believe it? It's because of this. If if you sit there and tell her she's the most beautiful thing on earth, you dancing on her, you tell her that y'all just friends, I don't believe it. You tell you just friends, y'all dancing all over each other, you say you love her, you're trying to kiss her on the list, but she keeps kissing you on the cheek, you're doing all of this sweet stuff to Rihanna, gave her the award at the VMAs, and all that type of stuff. Why on earth would you sit there and go and cheat on cheat on her like that? You can't be you. That's dumb as hell, man. Cause I don't believe Drake can do that. I don't believe it. I'm sorry. That's how that that's how I I, I feel I feel about Drake. That's how I feel. Now, y'all have y'all opinions. Y'all have what y'all think of Drake. <laughs> Me, in my opinion, he loves Rihanna so much that he really wants to be with her. He loves her so much that he really wants to be with her. But he cannot be with her because his schedule is going crazy as hell to the point where they had to break up. Rihanna, she's just got through finishing doing her anti-world tour. Now she's at home relaxing. Drake is still on the road after his album Views dropped. He's doing the Summer 16 tour. Then after that tour is over, he got to do another tour worldwide all over the place. All over the place. And he's still trying to make music. He is still making new music right now as we speak. He's talking about dropping a mixtape soon enough. Come on now. And I don't blame him because I listen to views. He deserves to like make at least another mixtape. Just keep in mind, he done a lot of mixtapes in the past. Uh... Comeback season, um, so far gone, which was by far one of my best, one of my favorite mixtapes ever. And now, now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, he's doing tours all over the place. Now he's making new music. He's trying to make trying to make new music and all this type of stuff, y'all. And I think, in my opinion. If you got to do all that type of stuff, yeah, y'all two really should not be together because y'all got a whole lot of crazy schedules going on. He's all over the world doing this and that. Yeah, y'all two got to break up. Because it's, it's going to be drama. I already know it's going to be drama. He's going to be all over the road. She wants some quality time with him. He don't get enough time because he's all over the road. Of course. Of course that's going to happen. That's my opinion on Rihanna. Now, Taylor Swift, on the other hand... I was, I mean, I like some of her music, but most of the time, I don't like her sometimes. I mean, it has been rough on her sometimes. I mean, she getting dissed by Kanye West, which... <laughs> which I think sometimes is hilarious, just the way, just to be thinking of what Kanye said on a song, Famous. It's hilarious. But sometimes, some of the words that she be getting, she don't deserve it. Like, for example, when the Grammys came and her and The Weeknd was nominated for Album of the Year. Her and The Weeknd and some other people. Who did the Grammy gave that award to? Taylor Swift. Instead of The Weeknd. What? What? Are you kidding me? Why the fuck would you give this woman a Grammy for this? You obviously don't understand 
a true R&B hip hop star when you see one. The Weeknd perfected that album. He perfected it. From real life to tell your friends to the hills to, to can't feel your face to acquaint to earn it all the way down to Angels, which was the last track on the album. And I think, in my opinion, all of that was hella fire. All of that was straight legendary tracks. And you telling me that you're going to give this girl, you're going to give this girl the Grammy instead of him? That's stupid. Stupid! But guys, that's my opinion on this. That's my opinion on this. If you like it, guys, please put a like and comment on the bottom of this video right here. And subscribe me to my YouTube channel to catch up on all the videos that's coming up in the very near future, y'all. It's your boy Desmond D. Peace out.